The Amex Platinum Card, Chase Sapphire Reserve, and Capital One Venture X. Three super premium travel credit cards that are all loaded with different perks, benefits, and more. So in today's video, we'll be putting them side to side for a head-to-head -head comparison. That way you'll be able to better determine which one might be the best fit for your wallet. For today's agenda, we'll be going over the welcome offers and the annual fees as of October 2022. Then we'll discuss how you earn and redeem points. Following that, we'll talk about the card benefits. That is the short version because these cards as premium cards have big fees and tons of benefits to keep track of as a result of that. So we'll keep things simple and talk about the most crucial parts. Then in section five, we'll go over the transfer partners and then move into the insurance and protections and wrap things up at the end with which card is best and which one that you may want to get. And if all that sounds good to you, then let's start with those welcome offers. The current public offer on the Amex Platinum card is to earn 100,000 membership awards points after spending $6,000 on purchases in the first six months. The approximate value toward travel is $1,000 or more based on how you redeem them, and the annual fee is $695. The Chase Sapphire Reserve will award you 60,000 points after spending $4,000 on purchases in the first three months. Those are worth about $900 or more toward travel, and the annual fee on that card is $550. And then we've got the Capital One Venture X, which will issue 75,000 bonus miles after spending $4K on purchases in the first three months. Those will be worth around $750 or more toward travel, and the annual fee here is $395. So which card wins? The result, therefore, is as follows. The Capital One Venture X will take the first place medal for giving you $355 or per potentially more of profit after you take the value and subtract out the annual fee. The Sapphire Reserve gets second place at a 350 plus profit, and the Amex Platinum gets the bronze medal for third at $305 profit. And to be fair, these are the public offers right now, not counting any targeted offers that you may see. Now let's see how these cards earn points long term. The Amex Platinum will award five points per dollar on flights when you book them directly with the airlines or via the Amex travel portal, and five points per dollar on hotels only when you book them through Amex's portal and prepay up front before your stay then 1x on everything else. The Chase Sapphire Reserve has a very comprehensive list of different categories. First, you'll earn 10x on hotels, rental cars, and Chase Dining, all of which when you book through the Ultimate Rewards portal, and 10 points per dollar on Lyft purchases through March 31st of 2025 due to their partnership there. You'll then earn five points per dollar on flights booked through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal, and then you also have a couple three point per dollar categories covering travel worldwide, that is travel outside of Chase's portal, and triple on other dining, which includes all dining at restaurants, bars, etc. that code as a restaurant outside of Chase's portal as well. Finally, the card earns 1x on all other purchases. Now, regarding the Capital One Venture X, this one will award you 10 miles per dollar on hotels and rental cars when you book them through the Capital One travel portal, and 10 miles per dollar on Turo through May 16th of 2023 due to the partnership there. You'll also earn 5x on flights when you book them through Capital One's portal and double miles on all other purchases. Now, if there's one thing we know for sure in the credit card world, one point or one mile is not necessarily necessarily equal to another point or another mile. They can vary very widely from one program to the next. So to help really compare these different rewards multipliers, let's put them in the equivalent return on spend as if you were earning cash back based on kind of a general average value for what the points are worth in each program. If we look at all this through the lens of the percent return for travel using the portals that each bank offers, then we have the following. The Amex Platinum issues 5% back on the flight and hotel categories and 1% on everything else. The Chase Sapphire Reserve gives 15% on hotels, car rentals, Chase Dining, and Lyft, then 7.5% for flights, 4.5% on travel worldwide and other dining, and 1.5% on everything else. And on the Capital One side, you'll get 10% on hotels and rental cars, plus Turo, 5% on flights, and 2% everywhere else. This then gives us the result of Chase taking the first place medal, Capital One in second place, and the Amex Platinum card in third place. That Sapphire Reserve card is extremely impressive, especially if you're willing to book a lot of your travel through the portal itself. Now let's take a look at how we got these values in 
the first place by looking at the value of points in each respective program. Across the top, we have all three cards and their corresponding point values for the three major redemption types listed on the far left-hand column. So for Travel 1 via Transfer Partners, Travel 2 is via the portal itself with each bank, and then we have cash back there in green as a statement credit. So beginning from the top for Transfer Partner Redemptions, all three cards have an average value of 1.7 cents per point. Therefore, if you had 10,000 points or miles, that would be worth $170 toward travel. Moving on down to the second travel option via the bank portals themselves, the Amex Platinum will give you anywhere from 0.7 up to 1.0 cents based on the type of redemption that you choose. The Sapphire Reserve gives you a flat rate of 1.5 cents and the Venture X gives you one cent. And at the bottom for cash back via a statement credit, you'll get 0.6 cents via the Amex Platinum card, one full cent per point via the Sapphire Reserve, and one half of one cent for the Venture X. So taking these three big redemption options into consideration, the result we have is the Sapphire Reserve taking first place, the Venture X in second, and the Amex Platinum in third. By the way, if you happen to be into the credit card game like I am and you have multiple credit cards, although I will admit the Sapphire Reserve has been deactivated a while ago, so these two are still active cards of mine. If you want to manage multiple cards with different benefits and rewards programs with a single app, check out Matt's Rewards. Matt's Rewards is a great app to help you manage multiple credit cards, rewards, and benefits all in one place, including tracking when your bills are due, tracking your sign-up bonuses, managing all your different card balances, and more. When you click on the Activity tab, it shows you a list of of all the transactions you've made across all your cards to see where your money's been spent. And it's got another menu option called Best Card where it shows you which card you have that can give you the most amount of rewards based on the category in which you're spending. And one of my favorite features is the Benefits tab, which automatically activates all of your Amets offers, Chase offers, and more. That way you can get even more cash back and more rewards without even having to think about it. And even though Amets only shows you up to 100 offers at a time, Matt's Rewards can activate all the additional ones you can't even see. So if you like to try Matt's Rewards and get the gold level entirely free for your first month, check out the link down below in the description. Now, since we're talking about three very premium credit cards with a ton of benefits and a lot of fine print to go with that, let's move into the abbreviated benefits section of this video. That way we can compare them without doing too much brain surgery. On the left-hand column where you see the color-coded text, I included the following benefits. Travel credits, retail credits, TSA pre-check or global entry credits, lounge access, elite status, hotel portals, no foreign transaction fees, and authorized users. Let's start at the top with the travel credit section in green. The Amex Platinum card will give you up to $789, broken down into $200 for Uber, $200 for hotels, 200 in air incidental credits, and 189 toward a clear membership. The Chase Sapphire Reserve keeps things a lot more simple with a flat $300 travel credit that works for pretty much any flight, hotel, rental car, and more. And the Capital One Venture X issues up to 400, although 300 of that is just a regular credit that you receive when booking travel through Capital One's portal, and the extra $100 is an anniversary bonus issued to you as 10,000 miles, which can be redeemed as $100 toward travel. For the retail credits, the Amex Platinum will give you up to $1,095, that is $240 toward digital entertainment, which includes select streaming services, $155 toward a Walmart Plus membership, $300 toward Equinox, $100 toward Saks, and $300 toward a SoulCycle at-home bike credit. The Chase Sapphire Reserve issues up to $180, that is $120 toward GoPuff purchases, and $60 toward DashPass purchases. And at this time, the Venture X does not have any of these partner type of credits. The third category is TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, and all three of these cards issue statement credit reimbursements for the application cost when you charge it to your card. And it's worth pointing out that the Sapphire Reserve also includes Nexus. Fourth on our list is Lounge Access, and you'll notice that all three cards have Priority Pass in common. Do note, however, that the Amex Platinum does not include Priority Pass partner restaurants, However, the Sapphire Reserve and the Venture Acts do include restaurants. Expanding that further, the Amex Platinum also gets you into Centurion Lounges, Delta Sky Clubs, 
Aerospace lounges, Plaza Premium lounges, and a bunch of other ones as well. The Sapphire Reserve will allow you to get into the Chase Sapphire Lounge by the club. When that network opens, as I record this video right now, there's not a single location available, but they are coming soon. And the Venture X will allow you to get into the Capital One Lounge network. Right now, there's just one location at DFW, but more are also on the way. Now let's look at the Elite Status privileges in the magenta color. All three cards include Avis Preferred Plus and National Emerald Club Executive. On top of that, the Amets Platinum also adds Hilton Honors Gold, Marriott Bonvoy Gold, and Hertz Gold Plus. The Sapphire Reserve also adds Silver Car benefits, so does the Capital One Venture X, that's why they're both listed there in bold font. And then uniquely, the Venture X adds Hertz President Circle status, which is the highest tier available and above what the Emmets Platinum gives you. Regarding hotel portals for elevated perks at hotels, and this is separate from the regular bank portal, by the way, the Emmets Platinum gives you the Fine Hotels and Resorts program, as well as the hotel collection, and both the Sapphire Reserve and Venture X include the Visa Infinite Luxury Hotel collection. None of these cards will charge you foreign transaction fees, and for the authorized users, the Amex Platinum is $175, including up to three at that price. The Sapphire Reserve will be $75 each, and the Venture X will be $0 for up to four people. A lot to consider there, but for the Credit Card Olympics, here's how the medals will play out. I'm awarding first place to the Amex Platinum, second place to the Venture X, and third place to the Sapphire Reserve. Up next, transfer partners. We'll first take a look at the airline transfer partners, and I've listed them for each card here on the screen, and whenever there's overlap between one program and the next, I highlighted them in the same color. So you'll notice here that in the blue font, all three cards have a lot of common programs, like Air Canada's Aeroplan, Air France KLM Flying Blue, and others. For the unique overlap between Amex and Chase, I have those in bold green font, and for the unique overlap between Amex and Capital One, that is in bold orange. Then whatever remains in regular white font is unique to each program. For the first place medal here, the Amex Platinum will win due to the greatest number of airline transfer partners. Capital One gets second place, and Chase gets third. Feel free to pause this screen as long as you like to look over these details further. Let's check out the hotel transfer partners. Amex will allow you to transfer into Choice Privileges, Hilton Honors, and Marriott Bonvoy. Chase will allow you to transfer into IHG One Rewards, Marriott Bonvoy, and World of Hyatt. And Capital One allows a Core Live Limitless, or ALL, Choice Privileges, and Wyndham Rewards. For this result, the first place medal goes to the Chase Sapphire Reserve due to the partnership with Hyatt, which tends to yield very high value compared to other programs. Second place goes to American Express because both Marriott and Hilton go really well together. And Capital One gets third place, although I will admit that ALL can give you some great value outside of the US in particular, and Wyndham can be okay if you're a budget traveler. All right, I'm gonna warn you all right now. The next two sections about travel protections and retail protections have an insane amount of fine print. I'm talking 17 page PDF documents or longer. The following is meant to be a general guide to help you compare one card to the other. Terms definitely apply. So with that out of the way, let's dig into it. On that left-hand column, I've included the category of the travel insurance, including trip cancellation and interruption, auto rental collision damage waiver, baggage delay, lost luggage, trip delay, emergency medical, travel accident, emergency evacuation, and roadside assistance. I've then summarized the main points in each of those different categories for each card, and whenever you see a red X, that means that card does not have that type of coverage. So feel free to pause this screen as long as you need to, to look over the main coverages for each of these different cards. In terms of the overall winners here though, I'm giving the first place medal to the Chase Sapphire Reserve as it gives the most comprehensive benefits package and some great coverages. And then the MX Platinum and Capital One Venture X will be tied for the second place medal due to having similar coverages. Some are better than others in certain areas, and some actually offer coverages that the other one does not. For the retail protections, I included the following categories here. Purchase protection, return protection, extended warranty, and cell phone protection. And for the result here, I'm giving the first place to the MX Platinum card, and then we have a tie for second between the Sapphire Reserve and the Venture X. It is now time for the final results. Let's see how these cards did. The Amex Platinum received three gold medals, 
two silver and three bronze. The Chase Sapphire Reserve received four first place, two second, and two third. And the Capital One Venture X finished with one first place medal, six second place, and one third place. So is there one card that definitely wins above all the others? Well, not really. What we really have is three different premium travel cards that win in different areas and serve different purposes that are best for different people. In fact, the Amex Platinum card will be best for those of you who want VIP and elite travel experiences, airport lounge access, and lifestyle credits. The Chase Sapphire Reserve will be best for those of you who are looking for the overall strongest rewards value, the travel and retail protections, and the most flexible $300 credit, therefore easiest to recoup the cost of your annual fee very quickly. And the Capital One Venture X will be best for those of you looking for overall simplicity, who desire to add authorized users, especially for the priority pass benefit to be shared, and with the overall lowest annual fee cost. Let's get a little more specific. If you're trying to determine which card you might want to get, consider getting the Amex Platinum card if you want the most comprehensive lounge access, you value elite status with Marriott, Hilton, and other rental car companies, and if you're willing to manage a lot of credits that also match your spend habits. Then consider getting the Chase Sapphire Reserve if you want the highest value rewards program overall without having to use transfer partners to make it happen, you book travel outside of portals or at least want the flexibility to do so every so often, and if you want the best overall protections package for travel and retail. And finally, consider getting the Capital One Venture X if you plan to use the Capital One Travel a portal to book your trips, if you want to add authorized users to share benefits, especially with Priority Pass, and if you want the basics without working to get value, and I'm of course referring to all the different credits that you have to manage with other cards. Now with all that in mind, you might want to avoid all three of these cards if you don't travel much, you prefer cashback rewards, you want lounge access to the American Airlines Admirals Club or the United Club, because these cards will not help you do that. Also, if you don't want to pay an annual fee, and if the cards cost you more than the value you get. And with all of that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications, because engagement like that tells YouTube this video is worth watching and it may push it out to a broader audience. Also, check out the links down below in the description description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, to sign up for Max Rewards, which is a great app to manage multiple credit cards, rewards, and benefits all in one place, and to view my all-new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I look forward to seeing you in future videos, and while you're waiting on my next upload, always remember one thing, and that is that you are great.